What is up? Today we're going to be doing a review of the Sega Genesis. A couple hours ago, I did a review of the Nintendo Wii and Sinistone and the Wii Remote. It's got a case on it. We're going to go over what, what it is to it. And see how far we come. course I cannot plug those in take a look at the second dresses you got the on and off you got the menu you got the you got the game card card but yeah the game card card is broken so we do got some yeah, they're already plugged in. Yeah, we're gonna take a look. <laughs> yeah, but see, just like the other Wii remote, the other Second Genesis controller is dead. We're gonna take a look at this review of the Second Genesis controller. You keep it link. I'll keep it linked in the description below. Yes, yeah, so on the second Genesis controller, we do got our D pad, we got the start button. Yeah, but they added a new button, it is the menu button. We got X, Y, and, got the X, y, and Z button, and we got the A, B, and Z button. Got the player one and player two button. They introduced that. You get the pointer right here, which points to the player. On the back, you, you got the battery pack. So this is the second controller. This is the one that doesn't have batteries. That was the game to you guys. The review of the Sega Genesis. Thanks for watching. Now. See you again in my next video.